In May 2013, the North Dakota Legislature approved funding for a new $123 million, 325,000 square foot, four-story School of Medicine and Health Sciences building at the University of North Dakota in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Thus began the largest state-funded building project in the history of North Dakota. Due to an impending shortage of healthcare workers nationally, the school developed a plan called the Healthcare Workforce Initiative, which increased class sizes, thus the need for a larger building to house them all. Upon funding approval, school officials spent one year designing the project with lead architect JLG Architects of Grand Forks, Steinberg Architects of Los Angeles, California, and Perkins and Will of Minneapolis, Minnesota. The general contractors were PCL Construction and Community Contractors, two companies based in Minneapolis and Grand Forks. The building opened for the start of the fall 2016 semester. Upon entering the new building, visitors will see five major features in the lobby, most noticeably the four-story glass atrium with outside patio seating. Adjacent to the atrium is the Cafe 1905, named after the year the school was created. It has an expanded menu and is now open to the public year-round. Also, right inside the front door is the Charles H. V. M. D. Auditorium, a 200-seat auditorium for lectures and community events. It's the only theater-style auditorium in the building with fixed tables but flexible seating that allows for small group work as well as traditional lectures. Also right inside the front door is the Office of Student Affairs and Admissions and the Office of Alumni and Community Relations. These offices serve our two most important constituents, students and the community, and are easily accessible for that reason. When visitors enter the building, we wanted to have offices that spoke to our two most important constituencies right there by the entrance. So the most important function that we do is educational. So our Office of Student Affairs and Admissions is right there by the front door. Similarly, the people of North Dakota paid for the building and should use the building. And therefore, any citizen who comes in the front door can immediately find assistance in the Office of Alumni and Community Relations. The fifth major feature is the grand staircase that connects the first and second floors. The north-south corridor of the building is called Main Street. It includes all student spaces such as classrooms, learning communities, labs and the library, as well as public collaboration spaces. It connects the West Wing, which houses research, and the East Wing, which houses faculty and staff offices. All four floors of the West Wing are dedicated to research. Our research labs here focus on infectious disease, neuroscience, aging, cancer and pathology, to name a few. One of the big differences between the research space in the old building and the new building is that we now utilize an open lab design. And so this provides us with this expansive collaborative space where we can interact more efficiently. And it improves our flexibility because we're able to now grow or shrink the size of, of uh, bench space dedicated to projects based upon need. And the way we accomplished this was by wall separating laboratories, um, and that was the first thing. And then second, we took all the major equipment typically associated with individual labs and simply moved them out into a common research corridor. So now it's much more accessible to the group. The, the last thing we did is we moved all the faculty offices and student workstations out of the laboratory into a dedicated space across the hall. Behind the grand stair in the lobby is the simulation center, a state-of-the-art training facility for healthcare students and professionals. It includes six simulation rooms, 14 standardized patient exam rooms, five debriefing rooms, and a clinical skills lab. This space will be used by athletic training, medical, occupational therapy, physician assistant, and physical therapy students, among others. The difference between the old and new facility is that we have two additional simulation rooms, which we didn't have before, and the simulation center wasn't connected to the main med school building. There's a movable wall between the two rooms. When pushed back, we've created a simulated operating room that we'll use for training students in operating room uh, function in the future. All four floors of the east wing of the new building primarily houses faculty, staff, and administrative offices. 
It also houses the Center for Rural Health and our Indians into Medicine program. This building was designed specifically to bring all of our programs together so that our students are more likely to spend more time with each other both in formal education experiences but also in social opportunities. The same is true for the faculty suites so that our faculty are spending more time with each other across the health professions which encourages more collaboration and socialization. The Grand Stair leads to several classrooms that can also be converted to a large event space as needed. The classroom spaces are flexible to accommodate different groups. There are four small, four medium, two large, and three extra large classrooms spread throughout the building. Several will include technology that facilitates active learning. Active learning is a real exciting opportunity in this new building. The space is designed to allow our students to work together in small groups and have more conversations. They're more engaged and the evidence shows us that that also increases their learning outcomes. The third floor primarily houses the health sciences. This floor includes a therapy laboratory for occupational therapy which updates the department's former kitchenette and also includes living room furniture, a bathroom with full tub, a bedroom, and laundry appliances. Another therapy laboratory, primarily used by the physical therapy department, includes 28 plinth tables, while a smaller laboratory, primarily used by the sports medicine department, includes 12 tables. The medical laboratory, used primarily by the medical laboratory science department, features 80 lab bench stations with computer monitors that can display digital slides for all students to see at once. Also on the third and fourth floors are the learning communities, the home away from home for students. Each community includes a lounge and kitchenette space, a practice exam room, three different types of study spaces and lockers. Students from all eight degree programs will be dispersed throughout each community to encourage interprofessional learning. So we will have physical therapy students working with physician assistants, working with medical students, learning from each other, teaching each other, and most important of all, learning to be a functional healthcare delivery team. The main difference from the third floor to the fourth floor is the small group learning rooms across the hall from the learning communities. These rooms are used by medical students in the morning and are open for use in the afternoon. One of the themes that we've used to guide us in the construction of this building is a saying attributed to Winston Churchill. We shape our buildings, thereafter our buildings shape us. What that means is that we design this building to train healthcare professionals optimally but then those healthcare professionals will go out into the community, out into the cities and towns of North Dakota, and deliver optimal care for decades to come.